Catholic Charities offers a wide range of services here in the community. Uh, most of what we do is recognized in, in the form of direct services, which we provide uh, services to children, families, and individuals, elderly across the 46 counties of Oklahoma. When you encounter the poor, when you, when you try to serve them, they'll always call you to whatever your limits are. They always call you out of where you're comfortable. And almost all of us appreciate the invitation to go somewhere beyond where we are. And if we find that where the poor are, we find that uh, they bring us into a new kind of life. I think they are doing amazing work that behind the scenes most of the time, they're not trying to be out front and get all the credit, they're just quietly working to get the job done to help people either financially through some issue, through some tough time, and, and that's what I've seen them do really, really well. It began with the dream that the bishop had to have an orphanage. And that dream was not just his. Many priests had encouraged him to open an orphanage. He hesitated because he was a prudent man. He did not have the finances to begin such a large enterprise. And so it was several years before he even purchased the land around 1910. In 1912, on property that is in uh, Bethany, Oklahoma, an orphanage was erected to take in children who needed a safe place to be and care for them and educate them and provide all of the support that they needed. Uh, the care for orphans and for children was the predominating force, I guess, that brought us together to address a social need at the time. Once you begin serving people, I think it, it only leads to you into to other doors that need to be open. There was a need for service for young mothers, unmarried young girls. And so we opened Holy Family Home. I was extremely pleased that we were able to construct it, to manage it, to operate it. And we have just recently converted our Holy Family Maternity Home into a Holy Family Lodge, which is a place for women who are uh, with children or women who are homeless as a place where they can go and live for up to two years with supportive services that will enhance their ability to uh, pursue an education, to get a job, and to become self-supporting. We don't insist on any kind of specific religious practices. We accept people where they are and offer them ourselves and, and assist with what their needs may be. As St. Paul says, that it is the love of Christ that urges us on. And I think that's one of the distinctive things about Catholic Charities uh, that sets us apart. We serve as an expression of, of Christ's love and compassion, which is without boundaries, without limits. Uh, without distinction, we're called to serve all, uh, and that's, that's what we strive to do. God is love. That explicitly states the need for Catholic charities to be a part of the life of the church. And so it's not just the headstone that we're looking back on, it's an ongoing reality. But what Catholic Charities does, it extends the life of the church in ways that we don't normally think of. Because we normally think of, of the church as the kind of inside of a church with stained glass and altars and, and tile floors. And the church exists as people who interact with people wherever other people are. What I would like to see uh, from this centennial is an opportunity for us to uh, celebrate that past, to, to recognize the, the important uh, work we continue to, uh, to do today but to recommit ourselves um, to um, uh, this work for the next 100 years.